First at Five with Sandra Sully and Hugh Rimmington. Good evening. First tonight, there is more evidence that our hospitals are completely overstretched, buckling under the weight of an increasing number of sick people. The latest quarterly report on the health of our health system paints a worrying picture of waiting times, especially in Western Sydney, where doctors are screaming out for more beds. Here's Daniel Sutton. More arrivals at Nepean Hospital's emergency department, where, on average, they'll wait longer for treatment than at any other hospital in the state. Perhaps a sore point well, the executives want, yeah. with the hospital's publicity team. So as long as you're outside the boundary, I don't, have a, I don't have a problem. Yeah. As we spoke to patients. I had my little one brought up here by ambulance about two weeks ago with temps of 39, and we were still waiting at... 8.30 in the morning and it was 12.30 uh, at midnight when we got here. There is a waiting time, of course, but as far as the staff and everyone are concerned, they were just so good to us. Hospitals have abandoned a federal target to treat or discharge 90% of emergency patients within four hours. The new New South Wales target is 81%. But Western Sydney hospitals are coming up short. Liverpool, 57%. At Westmead, it's 56%. Blacktown, 55%. Nepean is the worst at 53%. So the system is under pressure and the pressure is growing. One key reason is more patients. 900 more turning up to emergency every week. The end result, long lines of ambulances unable to offload patients. 15% wait longer than 30 minutes. Gosford, Royal North Shore, Royal Prince Alfred, uh, Sid Bellow, New South Wales. The Australian Medical Association says there are enough doctors in our hospitals, but they simply have nowhere to put all their patients, a problem which will only increase as the population ages. They say the solution is clear, more beds. The health minister was trying to dig up some positive news on the site of a new ambulance chopper base today. I believe that there will be dramatic improvement when we bring the hospitals online that we're building. You can bet cameras will be welcome then. Daniel Sutton, 10 Eyewitness News.